So one of the weird things about rediscovering this old material um, has been how current it, it is. It's really kind of bent my brain. And then I realised that most of these songs were written around about the time of the uh, first Gulf War. And it's almost like, you know, like different decades, same, um, same bullshit situation. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure you agree. And, um... Yeah, so... Oh, well, I guess it's taking the trouble of writing all the songs again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a greedy, I'm into recycling, you know. So, uh, this song is called Craving. And it's about that... Uh, I guess it's a modern phenomenon, really, is sort of like environmental depression. You know, the whole uh, sense of hopelessness and despair uh, and despondence that it's possible to get into because you see that there's just really, really serious problems coming and that there just isn't any, any action being taken on the levels of politicians or business or government beyond um, recycled plastic bags sort of rhetoric. Um, and that first hit me in the late 80s, I think, was when I sort of first decided that the apocalypse was coming. And um, I went off to live in the, in the suburbs and took lots of um, Council of adult, adult Education courses in how to um, make, you know, candles out of yoghurt and um, macrame carports and stuff like that to sort of, you know, survive the, uh, the oncoming, you know, the, the oncoming onslaught of whatever it was that was going to happen next. Um, it hasn't happened yet, and I've forgotten how to make a candle out of yogurt now, so I'll be just as unprepared as I was in the first place, but, um, hey, but maybe, uh, maybe making candles out of yogurt isn't going to save the world. Um, certainly, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that kind of sort of down-to-earth, back-to-the-land kind of movement that happened a lot over the 70s and 80s, and um, I guess it's sort of a, about that too, it's about that whole thing of... The first thing we do when we really start to consider what might happen um, environmentally is we start to think, well, how can we get around it? You know, could we go back to the land and grow our own vegetables? And you know, would that work? And of course, all the all the survival strategies that we have um, sort of rely on there being an environment. Um, you know, a bit of a flaw in the plan there. Yeah, it's, it's something to do with being a human being, I think, uh, needing the environment to live. Um, well, being, a, being, a, being a life form, I think, is, uh, is the real drawback, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that's going to resolve itself with time. Um, yes.